Hey nesters, welcome back to Nesting Haven. Today I am taking you thrifting along with me at Goodwill. And yeah, so I'm looking for some home decor items that I can either add to my own home or pick up to resell in my Instagram store or eBay. So let's go ahead and check it out and see what Goodwill had today. I saw this colorful bottle hiding behind this glass here. I picked it up to investigate it and I was like, oh, is this Avon? And sure enough, it was Avon. I didn't realize there was perfume inside. Normally there is none. And when I had leaned it over, it had leaked on me. I smelled like Avon perfume throughout the entire store. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe people will really keep their distance away from me now, so maybe it's a good thing. Unfortunately, it didn't seem to work. People were still getting a little too close. I always like to pick up interesting jars. This one had a good shape to it. A lot of people like to collect things like this to use in their craft rooms, so that was definitely a good find, and they were asking $2 for it. I still have not been having much luck finding any Halloween decor. It's been such a bummer. I did happen upon this piece in the candle section. They're only asking a dollar. I thought it was a cute little votive holder. You could always use it for various things. It doesn't have to just be for candles. I almost missed this beautiful sleeping angel in the back. They were asking $3. I don't normally gravitate towards angel cherub type items, but I really like this piece. I do sell some dolphin items every once in a while, so I always check them out when I do happen upon them. This one was kind of interesting. The little dolphins were wearing Santa hats, so it's kind of an interesting Christmas theme there. Not sure what the market is on that. I really love the looks to this glass jar. It had just the slightest tint of blue to it, which I think really enhanced the overall look. And I think this would look really adorable in the bathroom with Q-tips in it. It would be the fanciest Q-tip holder ever, right? <laughs> I don't normally pick up ashtrays, but there's a lot of different ways you can repurpose them these days, and I thought this was a beautiful piece of art glass.
I do have some customers that enjoy elephant items, so I did glance at these. A lot of them were modern pieces. This one here was actually a child's toy, but it was really well done. Someone could probably use that in their decor. It really does look like a nice figurine, but it was plastic. They had this really adorable hand-painted ceramic piece. It appeared to be a utensil holder for the kitchen. It only had two slots on it. It seemed like a lot of, you know, something that would take up a lot of space to only hold two spoons. So I thought that was a little weird, so I walked away from it. I was going to get this next piece, but unfortunately it was broken. I believe it's supposed to be for toothbrushes, but you could use it for paintbrushes or different tools that you might want around the house. I just thought it was really pretty, but unfortunately it did have a giant crack in it. I think this is just your run-of-the-mill beer bottle, which was kind of interesting that those were for sale. <laughs> I think those was probably really supposed to go in the returnable bin, but uh, nonetheless, they ended up at the thrift store. This was a really beautiful planter here, and they only had $4 on it, I believe. A fantastic price. It was a nice, good size. Let me know in the comments what item you would have picked up today. It's always interesting to hear your guys' thoughts on that. And make sure you are subscribed if you have not subscribed already. So you can catch tomorrow's Goodwill Thrift Along and we will come back to the same store and continue shopping with the same trip. There was lots of items at the store today. So we will catch you in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching. Bye.